Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about Page Set. Now, what is Page Set, why to use it and how to use it. Page Set is used to divide your report content based on some condition on different report pages. So, for explaining this I am going to create a simple list and in this list I want to add closing inventory and then I want to add product line product let's say product type and product brand for the time being and drag and drop drag and drop and this is our simple report in which it contains product line product type and product brand I want to change the order of this so let me quickly drag and drop it here and this is my product line, product type, product brand and closing inventory. I want to apply a group by on product line because I want to check the closing inventory of particular product line. So I am going to apply a group by on product line and I want to add a total for closing inventory. So I am able to see the end of the available quantity for product particular product line and it's time to run our report. And right now if you are able to see I am able to okay so this is my report page and on the same page I am able to see the multiple product line related data but what if I have a scenario where I want to split this data on multiple page for this we are going to use Payset. In Payset we are going to define a condition on product line and based on this condition this data is going to be divided on different pages. Now how to use page set? For this open your report studio and from page explorer you have to select report page and then you have to drag and drop page set. The next thing we have to define the page the detail page. Our detail page is page 1. We have to split this detail page in multiple parts okay or multiple pages based on product line so I'm going to select this and drag and drop here okay now we have to define the query which we want to use for this and for this we have to select our page set and then from the property you have to select query 1 why query 1 because our query 1 is for our main page list okay our query one or right click and go to query and if you are able to see this is my query one that's why we have to select query one next thing again go to report page and then select page set and we have to select the grouping and sorting condition we have to define and based on this grouping your data is going to be split on multiple pages and we want to split our data based on product line. We have to split our data based on product line. Right now you are able to see multiple product line related data on the same page. Okay. Now when you are going to drag and drop this product line into groups, your data is going to be split based on product line. Okay. Let me click on OK and it's time to run our report once more and our report is generated successfully now our each page contains only a particular product line related data and previously on my this or first page I am able to see multiple product line related data now what is the benefit of this this is just all based on the client requirement or user requirement okay and if you use if your user want to see or if your user want to split your data between multiple pages then you have to use page set so this is a basic use of page set and why to and how to use a page set in your report studio i hope now you are able to understand what is page set you are able to use it and you are able to explain why to use it so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe like button share it with your friend and see you all in next video